Yeah, there's a lot going on right now, especially for Southern Illinois. A couple of active severe thunderstorm warnings. We even have destructive severe thunderstorm warnings. So kind of taking a look at all of that. We've got a lot of activity, though. They're off to our east, but even here locally, a couple of things to track right now. So there's that destructive severe thunderstorm warning. That's for Hamilton and Saline County until uh, 630. So still some time on that. So if you're in El Dorado, send in near Harrisburg, Galatia, really keeping an eye on things. And then we've got another warning in place severe thunderstorm warning. We're actually right here. So the station, that's exactly what we're hearing outside what you just saw on the camera there as well. So heading towards Marion, we've got Heron Carterville. So really got to keep an eye on that. Another set of warnings. We're traveling just further south. So this is Vienna near Dixon Springs as well. Severe thunderstorm warning for Johnson County until 630 as well. Looks like they actually just expired one of them. So large hail has been coming down. We've had a lot of reports and of course we appreciate all the messages and photos and videos everyone has sent in. This was actually just right across the street. So that hail came down quickly and it was pretty large at times as well. Of course, we do have that severe thunderstorm watch in place until 11 o'clock and that's for pretty much everyone really coincides with this storm prediction center outlook with most of the region in that two out of five risk. And again, for large hail gusty winds, exactly what we've been seeing for the past couple of hours. So live look right now in Carbondale. This is actually the tail end of that storm that we just saw the warning for. It's continuing to move off to the east there. Biggest thing that I just saw, so I know in the five o'clock Carbondale was reading in over 100 degrees in about an hour they've dropped 20 degrees. So right now 83 feeling a bit cooler than that. So really knocked out some of that heat index dew point somewhere in those 70s. Right now, looking across the board for temperatures, it's easy to see where we're tracking some of those storms because we've got 96 Cape Girardeau, 92 Harrisburg, but then Carbondale right there in the upper 70s. So as those storms are moving through southern Illinois, it's dropping our temperatures, but we've got other areas like Piedmont still reading in over 100 degrees. Bit of a hot spot for heat indices right over Cape Girardeau, feeling like 111 Union City right close to that 113. So on top of being weather aware for the severe aspect, we're also tracking a couple of different heat alerts. We've got the heat advisory for northern counties and northeast, I should say, excessive heat warnings more so for the south. So threat tracker is high for both of those reasons. As we go into the weekend, I know a lot of us are wanting some of that rain, fingers crossed, but I think it's going to come with some severe storms as well. And then into Sunday, at least a bit cooler, still tracking a couple of those severe and scattered storms. Right now, tracking pop-up showers, still going to stay warm, at least in the next hour. We're tracking temperatures in the 90s, holding on to the 80s by 9 o'clock. Overnight tonight, some isolated showers and storms are still possible, but then waking up early on Saturday, continuing to track some of that. Get a quick break by mid morning temperatures quickly warming up. We're in the 80s by lunchtime Saturday above 90 degrees. Those heat indices pushing 100 and then this is what we got to watch for tomorrow mid afternoon into the evening. More pop up showers and storms are possible and staying with us for a couple of hours after that. Temperatures for tomorrow a bit cooler upper 90s uh, by Sunday upper 80s. So still scattered storms staying with us still seeing those hot heat indices. Outlook looking a bit different for tomorrow. We actually have a three out of five enhanced risk for most of the region as far as that severe chance goes. So really got to be weather wear into Saturday into Sunday. We're seeing something more like today. That slight two out of five extended from Mount Vernon to Union City. Really great to have the storm track three up. It's definitely coming in handy today. We've got the watch. We've had lots of warnings and I know of course that heat. Good news if you're kind of tired of the heat like me. We are tracking a bit of a cool down in our outlook here, so it's not coming today or this weekend, but it is on the way eventually. Right now, though, we're tracking temperatures for this weekend in the mid 90s for Saturday, upper 80s into Sunday. We do get a break from those storm and rain chances by Monday into midweek next week, still falling into a very summer like pattern. It's going to be July, of course, Independence Day Tuesday, but it's going to be a warm one and still tracking some isolated pop up storms. And you know, Katie, while you were giving your forecast, mm -hmm. the green screen is in the other part of the studio and we can hear it coming down. I mean, the thunder, the rain mm -hmm. even. Yeah, the door is right beside me. It's yeah, a lot. It's going on <laughs> out there. All right. Thank you, Katie.